now we've had a chance to catch up with all of the teams as they prepared and designed their pods to get into the tube, and we have a video that documents all of the small snippets that we had in interaction with them earlier this week. Let's check that out. From the Technical University of Delft from the Netherlands. The vehicle we use is completely frictionless. We use parallel magnets both for levitating and for braking. We love Hyperloop because we want to make a global village, connecting all these cities in the world, making everyone connections. Our team name is the Five Bengals. We're from LSU in Louisiana. And we're using magnetic gravitation, our stacks of our engines, to lift our pod off the ground. We are working on Hyperloop because it's the future. We have a time away from our MIT University in Australia, nearly one in the Southern Hemisphere. Our plot design is wheels. And the reason we chose Hyperloop is because a lot of us are from country towns and will make travel a lot easier for all of us. Hi, our team products. We're from Oral Roberts University in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Our pod is a magnetic limitation uh, design and it also has wheels for lower speeds. We're really excited to have the opportunity to take this technology on the cutting edge of transportation. And we think that the hyperloop competition is a really good chance for us to improve people's lives and help people get things faster. Hey, we're our hyperloop energy attack. For our pod, we use magnetic levitation, magnetic braking, and magnetic stability to go down the track. The reason we chose Hyperloop is because it's an exciting and new form of transportation that may eventually change the world someday. We are Hyperloop UC, all the way from Cincinnati. The body seat at the back uses magnetic levitation to levitate. As for why we are here at Hyperloop, we love to make things real. From dream to reality. We are NYU Hyperloop, we're from Brooklyn, New York. We've got a test pod here that is for wheels only, and we're helping for Hyperloop technology because we believe in Hyperloop as a sustainable transportation solution for the future. Hi, we're a Purdue Hyperloop design team. We have a passive magnetic levitation pod. Why Hyperloop? Our new green energy transport system, we like stuff that goes really fast. Hi, we're Badger from the University of Wisconsin, Madison. We have magnetic propagation and also magnetic propulsion. We're really excited about the Hyperloop idea because we believe it's going to revolutionize transportation and hopefully one day our children will use it to move from city to city. We are MIT Hyperloop from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Our fall design uh, focuses on magnetic propagation and why Hyperloop well, we're really excited to be working on. A uh, completely new form of transportation, something nobody has designed or built before. It's a massive challenge, and this challenge is what we like to do at MIT. Hey, we are Team Hyperlinks. We're from the University of Colorado, Denver. Our pod design is a wheel design up to 300 miles per hour. We're doing the Hyperloop because it's a fantastic opportunity for students like us to really get our hands dirty in an outside the box project from start to finish. We are Hyperexcite from the University of California, Irvine, and we are using air based communication. Uh, we're supporting Hyperloop to promote the future of affordable and sustainable transportation. Hi, we're Vloop from the University of California, Berkeley. Our pod sign uses magnetic levitation and wheels, and we chose Hyperloop because we thought it was a cool idea and no one's ever done it before. Hi, we are Keio Alpha. We are from Keio University, Japan. We are making a magnetic levitation pod for this Hyperloop competition. And what we love about Hyperloop is we want to be part of the revolution where we can invent the next high speed transportation system in this country. Our name is Lehigh Hyperloop. We are from Lehigh University on the eastern side of Pennsylvania. Our pod design uses air bearings, part from a compressor. Uh, we use electric motors for our self store. We wholeheartedly believe that Hyperloop could be an upcoming transportation system for freight and public purposes. And 720 miles an hour, who doesn't want to go that fast? We are Gatorloop from the University of Florida. Our pod uses wheels, and we got into Hyperloop because this is the first time it's being done. We are literally building a pod for a team for a second. Hi, we are the Texas A&M Hyperloop team. Our test pod uses air bearings for levitation, and we like Hyperloop because we want to be part of the future. Hello, we are U Washington Hyperloop from the University of Washington. Our pod utilizes a maglev suspension system and a maglev propulsion system. And we are interested in Hyperloop because we want to see the future of transportation. Hi guys, we are Alu. We are a team from Reddit. Uh, we are covering every continent of the world with people from every country that has been. Our pod is using active magnetic levitation. We are geeks from the internet. We like everything that is sci-fi and next-gen. And Hyperloop 
be so 21st century, we won't be talking We are Team Open Loop. We are an alliance of six schools coming from Northeastern, University of Newfoundland, Cornell, Princeton, University of Michigan, and Harvey Mudd College. Our product design is based on pneumatic suspension. We basically use two skis that may have been Member Loop is all about connecting people and making the world a much smaller place. Just imagine being able to go from San Francisco to LA in 30 minutes. The world's going to become much smaller and people are going to feel a lot more connected. We're UMD Loop uh, from the University of Maryland. We are a MagWeb design team. We are interested in doing a Hype Loop because we want to be part of an innovative engineering project that helps make the world a better place. But we're Water Loop we're from the University of Water Loop. We're using Aircaster pneumatic levitation. We've got magnetic eddy current braking. Overall, we want to see the hyperloops come to light, and I think hyperloops are great technology to connect people from around the world, so hopefully this weekend we can get in the right direction. We are Illini Hyperloop, we're from the University of Illinois, and we have designed and built a magnetic levitating car, and we are doing hyperloop because this technology will be used all across the world in the future. We are Hyperloop at USC, we're from the University of Southern California, our part is a wheel design, and we love Hyperloop because it's the next form of transportation. Hi, we are Carnegie and Hyperloop. Uh, we are from Carnegie and Hyperloop. We have designed a part that relies on magnetic levitation. We use passive magnets to do that. And honestly, I'm super excited about this project because Hyperloop is the future of transport. Hi, we are the Hyperloop team from the Technical University of Munich. We levitate our pod with passive permanent magnets. We really like the Hyperloop project because it's an excellent way for us to actually do some hands on practical experience of everything we learned inside of the lecture halls. We are Team Hyperlift. And we're from St. John's School in Houston, Texas. We're an air bearing team. We chose the Hyperloop because we think it's the future of transportation. We can't wait to see where it takes us in the future.